What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And right here, what you're looking at is I'm about to be a first string all Madden player. I've obviously been playing a lot of solo, so I haven't really been able to do the head to head matches. So, um, you know, I always try to get to the first string all Madden as soon as possible. I'm finally there. I am going to be doing a little bit more gameplay with it, but my focus has been Mutt Master with Sean Taylor, and he's definitely worth it, man. I've shown you guys so many gameplays. If you guys are not following me on Twitch right now, you need to go over there to at G Myers World and do what's right. But if you're already sub to me on YouTube, I'm going to be streaming Madden on YouTube. Also NBA 2K18 uh, very, very soon. And if you're interested in watching my podcast for NBA recaps, NFL recaps, just look in the description box right there and click it for my other channel, and it'll take you right there. Um, I, the reason that I go to the Samari Cooper right here is because you can see I have a decent amount of tokens, but... I was going to get him. Right now, his price is down to about 400K. He was a little bit more earlier, but you know every month they're going to release different series masters for uh, those Mutt tokens. So I'm really thinking about just holding on to him because, like I said, after I'm done doing what I'm doing right now as far as the, uh, the Sean Taylor additional uh, objectives to get more coins, I'm going to drop the video for you guys about that, let you guys know what's going on with that and why you should probably do it. And then I'm going to go on and start really grinding and head to head and, uh, you know, getting you guys some more gameplay as far as that goes. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this gameplay right here. And I want to, like, break it down for you. Sean Taylor's an outrageous man, bro. The dude is a savage animal. And he probably has rabies in this game because he's just, listen, the guy is a savage. And he is, the thing about it is, let me just explain something to you. Madden 18 is like this, right? It's better than Madden 17, but it has a lot of tendencies of 17 in the game. Now, I got the game early, and before the game was officially launched, it was a completely different game. So, uh, in my opinion, as far as things like hit power goes and stuff like that, I think they've done a good job uh, as far as making the players with high hit power execute that on the field. Let me just say that. But I have played games where dudes have stiff arms Sean Taylor in the throat, and his, like his jugular fell out. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like he's going to always give you that play, but he is consistent with his speed, and his acceleration, like, you know, he's a, a 92 speed with 95 Excel. You always feel that. When you blitz him, he's always coming right in. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just letting you guys understand. You are, even in competitive mode, there are going to be times where dudes are just going to stiff arm him, bro. You can be like, yo, what the F? But it's not like he, even when he was playing, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're going to always make the play, but he was just such a great player. All we saw were so many highlights. You know what I'm saying? But everybody gets... A little, somebody gets a little bit off, but it's just like, yo, when it's a silver running back and a dude does him dirty, you're like, come on, Madden. But I just want to let you guys understand that before we get into the gameplay. But what you're going to see, he's going to be the main guy that's involved in most of the plays that's going to turn this game around for me because this dude right here that I'm playing, he has no self-respect. So he's going to try my user and we all know, pick, you know what's going on, bro. Do me a favor. Oh, why can't you hurdle over him, Bar? What the, what's his hurdle, bro? Yeah, bro, what's this dude's agility? He couldn't hurdle that, hurdle that man like he was uh, Todd Gurley the third, though, or the second, or whichever number he is. I don't even know what it is, bro. But listen, the bottom line about it is this dude, Sean Taylor, yo, you see, just look at how fast he comes off the edge. Now, I've shown you guys other ways of doing it uh, during my live stream with, like, Lattimore and stuff like that, because Lattimore, what just happened right there? Who is that? Who's that corner right there? Let me get his name. Uh, I, think, I think it says Gilmore. Somebody verified that it is Gilmore. He's, that's going to be his last game. But, um... Oh, you're going oh, you to throw a Stevie. Okay, so you want to throw Stevies. And for people that are asking, um, I got a lot of people from different countries that have been asking questions like, what's a Stevie? A Stevie, look, Stevie Wonder is a blind artist in America. I don't know if you guys um, listen to his music. Very, very talented artist, but he happens to be blind. Um, it is it is like sort of like a joke. It's not funny in the sense that he really is blind and people just using him, but it's just the fact that he's a well-known guy. He's made it. Uh, I don't think it's really, really harsh. We're not trying to be harsh about it. We're just saying that people just throw the ball in the air and they can't see what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I'm in no way making fun of Stevie. What the? Yo, run it for six. I'm in, yo, run it for six on me. Run it for six. Ben Rob, just lay down, Ben. Lay, lay, lay down, bro. I'm in no way making fun of him and stuff like that. It's just the fact that whoever is blind, bro, you're just using somebody that's blind. Obviously, if you're fortunate enough to have sight, you're able to watch this video. And I'm very, very appreciative of having my sight. It's just that... You know, we're going to play around with different things uh, regardless, but that's what it is. It's a Stevie. Stevie Wonder, okay, I just threw a pick. See, that's a Stevie right there because I see specifically that this man is running around with his free safety um, uh, at water, and I threw it right there. But I was just very, very upset about the previous play, and I got to stop doing that. See, Sean Taylor right there, that's supposed to be a fumble. Like, I don't know. Who was his quarterback? Who was that guy's quarterback? Is that Kirk Cousins? Like, 
the dude just throws the ball and he's getting hit. He doesn't fumble. Like he, he just, he's he, bro. I got to get me a Kirk Cousins, bro. Cause the dude don't fumble. Sean Taylor is with a full head of steam blasting him in the chest. And the dude is just standing there taking it like, a, okay, now I can pick that. Who was that? Buchanan? Well, he like six foot though. He kind of short. I might have to get Leonard Floyd. Leonard Floyd needs to get a team of the week, bro, to get his speed up to like, probably like maybe give him like an 84 speed. And I'm going to put him back there because what is Barr right now? I think Barr is, what, like an 84 too? I, you know, I need more height because Buchanan is just, I don't know what he's doing right there. Dude is waving around in the air like it's sweet. I, I, I don't tolerate stuff like that very well. You know what I'm saying? When you come back to the locker room, you may notice that there's tarantulas just like hanging around your locker. But don't worry about it, bro. Just go into your locker. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? We've tested them for, we've tested them for poison. They're definitely poisonous. But don't worry about it. Just go to your locker, bro. Because, you know, when you screw me over... I'm going to take care of you in my locker room. You know what I'm saying? So my players understand it's a very, very short leash. And I will drop a freaking full snake with venom in your locker. You're running for six. Oh, oh, you want to fumble up. Okay, Zach Ertz is garbage, though. Let me just give you guys another recommendation. Zach Ertz, the gauntlet champion, don't get him. If you already got him, you're just like me. You're just like trying to experiment early on and just get a decent overall tight end to increase your overall to get extra coins. Because you know, like in the objectives, depending on your overall, you can like get a lot of free coins, like 10,000 coins for winning a certain amount of games with a certain overall. That's the only reason that Zach Ertz is on my team. But I don't know why he's actually starting right now. You know what I'm saying? What, what, are, what are these guys doing? Why did Okay, so Frank Clark, why did you stop running at him? I just want to know why you stopped running. If you could tell me why you did that when we meet in the locker room later, it, it's going to be a, a, a AK-47 automatically loaded when you open your locker up. Pick that run up a six. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Stop doing the jukes, man. Why is this guy trying my user so much? Why is this guy trying my user, though? Who Who is that? Is that a Mark? I can't wait to get rid of Amari Cooper. Listen, guys, this is why I haven't been streaming as often. I'm trying to get uh, that OBJ. Um, and I'm grinding out all those team leader solos, and I got so many other things going on. Obviously, a lot of us have other things that we have to do. Shout out to the guys that completed it, man, because whether you want to say those guys have no life or not, or whatever you're doing, I don't. I can't say that about anybody that grinds out for what they want. So regardless of what you want to do, just go ahead and do it. And people going to hate on you and say, oh, yeah, bro, you got no life. Yo, shut the F. Bro, if you want to do something, just do it, bro. Just like right here, I want to get into the end zone. I'm going to get in the end zone. This dude right here is garbage. I'm going to do what I have to do. You know what I'm saying? But I see a decent amount of them on the auction house. I am a millionaire right now. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up, just grinding like a savage. But I don't want to spend my coins right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to spend my coins. I, I want to make sure that, you know, I have them just in case anything comes out that I really, really want. Or maybe a, a key snipe that's going to really make me do a... What are these guys doing? What, what, what's happening right there? Yeah, anyway, but like I said, I, I I hate Amari Cooper with a passion. That guy sucks in this game. Um, he tends to drop the ball a lot more than other players. Um, and as a receiver, like he, I don't know, he just sucks. But I have to leave him there right now because he has decent run block and he helps, you know, do whatever he needs to do for LaDainian Tomlinson. Obviously, I have the level master LaDainian Tomlinson. If you don't know about LaD like LaDainian Tomlinson, the level master, you need to go right now and check out my previous videos about LaDainian Tomlinson. That dude is... What, wait a minute, what's going... Bruh, hold up, hold up. So now we're going to... Yo, just forget about it. Forget about LaDainian Tomlinson. Forget, oh, oh, don't forget about him. Go for six. Go for... Oh, why am I juke? I should just kept running, bruh. I got to stop juking because... Oh, bruh. Every... Oh, Dot? Okay, let's go. Oh, he didn't fumble. All right, that's cool. That's cool right there. I thought he was going to fumble. But yeah, every time, man, I got to stop juking. Like, I'm really, really sticky, but I got to maintain the stick. Oh, he he out. He out. Trying to plead the English. You're going to probably wear me out. You're trying to meet Mill. But I'm going to tell you this right now. That dude right I got to get his team leader. That Coleman, I got to get his team leader. Because that's just his regular base, 80 overall. Um, You know, team card, the 80 overall one. I got to get the team leader, dog. The 86 overall with 90 speed. Because I know that dude's probably extra glitchy with cheese and macaroni sauce. What? That doesn't even make any sense, but don't worry about it. Listen, right now is where it all comes down. And this, what's about to happen, is why Sean Taylor will forever be one of the greatest players, greatest players to ever play college football, NFL, whatever. Because he's going to come up big. And you're going to notice that it's going to start raining in the stadium. But don't worry about it, bro. It's only going to be raining during the time that, uh, uh, you know, Sean Taylor is doing this thing. So don't adjust your camera. Don't adjust your, you know, your iPhone, your Android. Whatever you're watching this on your laptop, your computer at home, don't adjust the screen. Rain is going to start and it's going to be an earthquake when Sean Taylor takes over in a second, all right? And then you can see right now, this dude is driving down the field. He throws an out route. My guy stands there instead of jumping up and picking the ball. It's okay, bro. It's okay. I got no problems with it. You know what I'm saying, bro? But here we go, bro. The rain is about to start. The rain is about to start, bro. Yeah. Oh. Ah! 
Give me that goddamn ball, boy. Give me that ball. Sean Taylor with the key hit, man, and the fumble, bruh. Like that right there. That's why you don't play around with Sean Taylor. And that's why you want to become a mutt master and join the family. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you sub, share. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.